Hi everybody, it's Mallory. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my twin sister, Megan, special guest uh, here joining me tonight. Hi. Um, yes, we are very identical. And we live just four miles apart. Um, she loves wax pretty much just as much as I do. Um, and so we have a little Rose Girls haul here tonight that we're gonna share um, with you guys. Um, if you're not familiar with Rose Girls, they are based out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Um, the gal who runs it, her name is Jenny, and she does occasional type sales, like ready to ship or pre-order sales. And this was a part of a pre-order that we ordered maybe like a month ago. Yeah, um, at least weeks. a month ago, six weeks ago or something. Um, and we're gonna split the stuff that we ordered. So just gonna share that here with you guys tonight. A lot of fun scents and yep. cool mixes, you guys. Really yep. Neat. So we have, um, yeah. she included one sample, um, Pink Tangerine Dream. The notes are pink sugar, tangerine, gelato, and marshmallow buttercream frosting. This smells awesome. Yeah, it's pretty orangey. Definitely mm. tangerine. It'd be really sweet, so that'd be good. And then we just ordered two uh, mini melter bags, and then we have a fresh sampler too. So the first mini melter bag that we got is Circus Concession. Um, this is Macintosh, Madness, ooey, goo ooey gooey uh, caramel, cotton candy frosting, and funnel cake. The cotton candy is what like, got me. I love cotton candy sweet scents. So when I saw the description on this one, I really wanted to try it. It's definitely heavy on the caramel apple. I thought it would be more funnel cake based. I get a lot of caramel. Yeah, maybe the funnel cake will come out more as it sits and cures and or warms. Candy. Yeah. I was hoping for more sweetness out of it. It's definitely more apple-y. So, but that's it's, it's kind of newly it's poured. Good. So hopefully it comes out more in the back end. Um, and the other one we got is Night Shift. We will so love good. coffee. This one is espresso. French vanilla latte, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. Very good. So a lot going on, but... A lot of coffee scents can be kind of, like, intimidating or, like, whoa, coffee. This, this is really well balanced. I think it's the French vanilla latte and then the pretzel note. Definitely. Yum. That's really nice. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. It smells like a coffee bean, like, to a tea. Yeah. That's really good. I like that one a lot. Yeah. And then uh, we had the fresh sampler. There's so many of her scents that I want to try that are in the fresh category, but it's like something's mixed with poolside. You know, what is poolside? Um, so we grabbed the fresh sampler to kind of try all the stuff. Um, so poolside is one of them. So this is supposed to be... It smells fresh. I mean, yeah. It smells nice. I'd warm it on its own. Yeah. I, I should have had other scent notes pulled up for it, but... This is really good. I like this one a lot. Aloe, maybe? I don't know. Aloe? It smells clean. Yeah, definitely clean. Sounds good. Uh, next one is Morning Sex. This is mixed with a lot of things, too. Yeah, it's in a lot of their descriptions. Mmm. It's really good. I like that a lot. More cologne-y. Yeah. A more masculine, but it smells nice. Yep. Mixed with something would be really good, probably. Yep. And then Zen. I don't know how I feel about that. It smells more like a laundry sheet to me. Yeah. I get a green note from it. There's something green in there. Yeah. The wax is pretty. Yeah, but that's okay. It's, if it's supposed to be calming, I guess I could see that. Yeah, we go to the bedroom probably. Yeah. Uh, lemon Summer Breeze. This one sounds like it's gonna be good. Yeah, I need a lemon. Definitely heavy on the lemon, and it's like a cleaner lemon, like pine salt lemon to me. Definitely. Mr. Clean. Yeah. It smells like you just washed your floor. Yeah. But not a bad way. No. But a little could go a long way, I think, in that one. Lemon is nice when balanced with other things. Right. And then the next one is Speechless. I know this one's really popular. I get an orange base with that. Definitely orange. Orange. Like that one's lemon. This is orange. Like orange clean. Yeah. But not, not overpowering. I would say like the lemon one is. Right. It's a little more. It's a little mild. soapy maybe. Or something. Yeah. And then the last one is clothes on the line. Yep. Yeah. It's gotta be laundry. Sounds like. Yeah. But not like overpowering like you'd think it would be. Like you would think this one would smell like um like a super strong dryer sheet or not liquid detergent and it's nice and fresh like light fresh i'd rather i think 
That would really mixed with a lemon or something would be good balance. Right. Do you have a favorite? Um, probably the speechless. No, no, probably the poolside. Yeah, poolside's really good. I like the poolside and probably the morning sex. There's this something is, like really smooth about this one that I like in here. I like how this one's more like watery. And but more Both of these almost like kind of Swedish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the lemon and the orange one was fine too. On the right day. On the right day, yeah. They're but mixed in their mixes. I think these are the favorites. So, yeah. Nothing too crazy. Um, there is actually a ready or a pre order sale happening right now on the Rose Girls website after we post this. It'll probably be done, but I think she's doing another ready to ship order um, April 11th. So, if you're interested, go to rgwax.com and check out her site. It's really good. Fun things, yeah. Yeah. Nice to support somebody local. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Nice to meet you guys. Bye, guys.